Hey guys, well I'm up here at Stake Lake, BC here. The footage you're gonna show, that I'm gonna show in front, sorry, was, <laughs> believe it or not, a month ago. I didn't shoot the extra stuff, so I didn't want to let you guys down and not shoot the extra stuff with Rudy and then the intro here. So that was with uh, Lisa's twin sister. So the part you're about to see is from that. But I wanted to say to anybody that's in a wheelchair, this place rocks. Like to be outside in nature, and they got these super, super wide paths and they're they're fairly flat. You do need a little bit of traction, but you know, for being out here in nature, I mean, this place rocks. Even at night, they've got lights all the way around the thing. It's like street lights all the way around. They do a lot of cross country skiing and racing and all that stuff on the lake. So I'll put clips up during the day of, of what happens here. But if you guys are ever up by Lac Lejeune or outside of Camelot, so you should check out Stake Lake. It's, it's a pretty cool place. Do you guys hear that? That's the best thing about this place. You can't hear anything. It's awesome. Well, I'll let you guys watch the video. Thank you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I include you on a ton of different adventures, all while doing it with my family. Wild. While we are laughing, all while doing it one leg at a time. some bad news the doctor says a year or two but I believe in miracles have you ever seen a small tree sprouting up through concrete because I think that's what you're gonna do Well, hey there, guys. We're at Steak Lake today with Lisa's sister, the famous Sandra, and her son, Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> you got a 360 already. Do you recognize her? Making memories. Except she's wearing jacket today and not short sleeves and we're not smoking hot. What a cool place though, huh? Like, this is accessible, like, yeah. you know? I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of hill, but jeepers. Do you see the temperature today? Seven, so seven degrees and it's chilly out. A little bit of cow droppings. Don't you want a chili? Okay, I might have to take a ride at this one because of wet grass. Come on. Got to take a run up the hill, guys. Oh. Top of the hill. And we'll do a backward shot. Oh, there they are running. There. So little, what's this say? Little, little Joe. 
little Joe. I'd make an inappropriate comment right now, but I'll, I'll it, miss it. it. <laughs> oh, it's another trail. Yeah. Look at that, guys. It's all lit up for the winter. Who are those guys in the orange? Are they like, uh, I think they're doing the, the um, cleanup after, you know, because the fire just came through there. Oh, yeah. So I think they're probably burning stuff, and, which explains why that guy drove by us three times, because he's probably wondering. Oh, yeah. So we were just at this little lake, not really a lake, but the place is full of garbage. Okay guys, what's the chances that Gavin's gonna fall off this rock in the water? Ah, 50, 50, 50? I'll hold her, just put her back on her. And that's their little dog named Luna. Luna thinks it's, she's one of the guys. It's freezing. It's freezing. Look at the two god. Yeah, I should have brought my gloves. Okay, one, two, three, fall backwards into the water. Look at that pose. Guys, that should be an Instagram pose. Maybe a Tinder pose. <laughs> Do you swipe left or sw swipe right first, Gavin? Oh, and look at the beautiful dog pictures. It's so dark, huh? Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work out today, guys. It's, it looks like it's gonna pour. Those clouds up in the sky are pretty dark, so. Jeff, if you're watching, this is what Steak Lake looks like, and I think we could do it on our front drives, no problem. We'll do a sidewards video there. Sorry, guys, you gotta have this on. Luna likes to fall out to run away, and she we're worried about the coyotes and bears and stuff. I'm not sure if it's in season now, but going Gavin's telling me to take a run at it. Oh! Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Ah, oh, no. Time to go in reverse. Making memories. Oh. I'm up against the rock. Hold on. Why does every adventure start with you guys doing this? Mm. There. There. Is it strong to go up? Because we tend to go on... Uh, More adventurous routes? Yes. If you guys remember my video with the lieutenant running out of batteries, that's the same people. <laughs> that terrible day. No, the terrible day for Lieutenant. I had a great day that day. <laughs> it was great. We had lots of laughs and we made memories. It was like a good workout. That was great. The weather was good that day. It's yeah. we're we're gonna remember that forever. Oh yeah. And you didn't fall off the cliff. No, oh, that was bad. <laughs> that could have been bad. Yeah. That could have been really bad. <laughs> That's cow poop. Cow poop? Yeah. Can't smell like I smell nature. It smells great. Ten to two. I should probably leave here. I don't know. Two. I should probably head back pretty soon. You guys can keep going if you want. Yeah, we probably should go back and pick her up. You can't embarrass her though, because she'll get all sensitive and then she'll start crying and then I'll get in trouble. Kidding, he wants to make fun of his cousins, so I'm trying to tell him to be careful. For future me, I did say it. Looks like it's gonna pour today, guys. You wanna keep going around?
If it doesn't pour, this looks bad. <laughs> So I don't know the stats around Stake Lake, but it's a lot used during winter for cross-country skiing. And then they do ice racing on it. I'll put up some videos of what they do on here in the winter. This is just the beginning of it. And it goes all the way around like this. Um, accessibility rating, I'd probably give it a C plus, um, just because it's wide and it's flat, but some of the hills are fairly, a um, little bit muddy and a little bit wet, so. But C plus isn't bad for a trail in the middle of, in the bush, so. Thanks so much for going on this adventure with me.